I'm Dr. Caroline Novak, a member of the Vein Treatment Clinic team of the VIP Medical Group. I'm a phlebologist, which is the term for a doctor who specializes in taking care of patients with vein disease, also known as venous insufficiency, and spider veins and varicose veins. Today I'm going to talk about spider veins, specifically answering the question, how to get rid of spider veins. Spider veins are thin, delicate, red and blue clusters of veins that lie just underneath the skin. They tend to have a spidery appearance to them, hence the name. Spider veins usually form as the result of a condition called chronic venous insufficiency, which is when blood flow in the veins slightly deeper within the leg is impaired. When these veins are unhealthy, it causes spider veins and varicose veins to appear. It's a little bit like a leaky pipe within a wall. Where the veins beneath are the leaky pipe and spider veins are stains on the wall that occur as a result of the leak. It's important to find out if you have an underlying problem in order to know how to address your spider veins. If you don't have chronic venous insufficiency, you can receive cosmetic treatment for your spider veins without addressing the other veins within your legs. Cosmetic treatment is usually performed with sclerotherapy. Sclerotherapy involves the injection of a medication called asclera directly into the veins. The asclera irritates the walls of the vein, causing them to seal shut. The vein disappears immediately, but then reappears as a thin red line. Over time, the veins fade and can disappear. Sclerotherapy is extremely effective, but as I said before, it's important to test for underlying venous insufficiency before treating spider veins or varicose veins with sclerotherapy. If you do have venous insufficiency, and most people with a large amount of spider veins do, our treatment approach is slightly different. The first step is to fix the underlying issue, then address the spider veins. We close down the unhealthy veins deeper in the leg, rerouting blood flow to healthier veins. The easiest and safest way to do this is endovenous ablation with radiofrequency ablation. In our practice at Vein Treatment Clinic, we make a carefully individualized plan based on you as an individual patient. We use a combination of different technologies to achieve the best result in the safest and most effective way possible when we decide how to get rid of your spider veins. Thank you for taking the time to listen today. Again, I'm Dr. Caroline Novak, a physician at the Vein Treatment Clinic. To schedule a consultation with one of our experienced physicians or to learn more about veins and venous disease, please visit us online at www.veintreatmentclinic.com. We accept most major medical insurance and we look forward to helping you.